Hi, this is Dave from Innovative Travelers. Today we're looking at a London Fog underseat bag. Travel with London Fog, travel with confidence. So I'm looking at this soft shell bag and I'm trying to figure out is this going to meet my needs for just a carry on in one bag solution. I don't know. I like that it's a soft shell kind of setup, but I'm concerned about wheels. And you know me, wheels are the most important. So what are the wheels on this? This is a two wheeler with a handle, which is nice. And it definitely has those nice skate wheels that you're doing. But once you put it on two wheels, it seems like it's stuck a little bit on the bottom here. And that would bother me going through an airport. I don't know about you, but when I'm going to an airport, sometimes I just want to be able to go to where I need to go and go efficiently, especially as I'm traveling. I don't really sometimes want to be stuck because I'm going to want to get something to eat or anything else. So here's the handle. It's a extremely high handle. I love the height. It goes over my head at this moment on the table. It's a solid handle and I would like, I think it's really good that way. So I like the handle. It does have a strap on the back to put over another piece of luggage, but with the current carry-on requirements, I don't think that will work if you just go and carry on, which I recommend to just go carry on as much as you can. What about zippers? What about the zipper on this thing? Do you know me? Zippers are really important. All right, the zipper got stuck a little bit, but it is working pretty good and it definitely moves around. So I give it a C on the zipper, definitely gets stuck coming around here and I don't know if that's gonna really be perfect for me as I do. The inside of the carry-on is what you would expect. There's a nice little pouch here that you can put stuff in. And then London Fog's done a good job by putting two other pouches on top. So you have access to three pouches. So you can put your toiletries in, some other little supplies, and then what you're taking along. Now my only concern with this bag, even though it's soft shell and it's nice and it's a good quality, is all the requirements now. With all the requirements, I can see them, the airlines looking at this as my carry-on, and sometimes I wanna have a carry-on and an extra bag. I want easy access to this bag, and I don't know if they're gonna do that. So you may incur extra charges if you have two bags. If this can be your all-in-one bag, I think it will work, but you're not gonna be able to use it as a personal item. It's a little wide for that personal item size, and that's a problem. Where's my measuring tape? Let me find that and get back to you. All right, how big is this bag? Let's see the distance. All right, it's only 14 high, and it comes across as 15 wide. So it definitely meets those requirements, and even at a going depth. Definitely meets requirements, but I think it's also gonna be a carry-on. If I'm doing a carry-on, I'd rather do a Travel Pro or a Delsey, and I have reviews on that, I would recommend you do that, then this London Fog. I don't think this is gonna meet my requirements to be my all-in-one bag. I like to have a personal bag with me, besides my carry-on, and this just isn't doing it. So tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like what we're saying, please like and subscribe.